Girl, don't ask no questions. Just watch this fucking video, okay? Yeah, yeah, you know I'm doing fine. Buster. Talking about you wanna come home for the night. Yeah, you know I'm looking good. I'm sauced up. Got your life together. Now you coming for your brass. Cause I know what you like. It only feels right. I look crazy. Hey everyone, welcome back to this mess of a channel. I am your host, your grand Mark. Shout. Now, um, like I said, don't ask no fucking question. Just watch this damn video. I'm not doing no explanation. I do that every time I make a video. And at this point, I am tired of it. Y'all on quarantine just like I am. So we're going to try to get through this together. With that being said and all the pleasantries off the way, I intended for this video to be a hashtag smack your lip inspired by our beautiful internet cousin Evelyn from the internet. I will post her things on the um description box below with the link to her channel and all that so you guys can go check her out because i love her and i've been watching her since like day fucking one that's my bitch period and i wanted to do it with zaps i've always heard of zaps and these fucking chips but i could never find them i've just always heard about these chips so i figured why not do a video of me trying them so i'm gonna go to fucking wawa and get these damn chips and so we can see what's going on now i'm thinking they had a whole array of flavors why the fuck they only got two flavors why is it only two flavors girl i wanted to do like a whole buffet a whole buffet but since they only had two flavors i ended up buying a few more bag of like other random ass chips that i ain't never had before and i'm like what the hell so we're gonna try them out and these are also part of my <laughs> quarantine snacks so i'm gonna try not to like down them all so along with the zets i brought some lime and jalapeno ruffles by whoever this fine gentleman is he obviously plays for the lakers anthony davis okay boom and then dill pickle chips anybody that knows me know i do not fuck with a pickle unless it's a pickle and then lastly i brought these fucking uh organic doritos i don't know what she about to give us they, they usda organic so we gonna we gonna hope for the best and then as a bonus round i brought some fucking uh <laughs> some beef jerky i already started dibbling and dabbling in them but bitch mind your business let's get started because i'm hungry first we're going to do the voodoo zaps now i'm not gonna lie i tried these the other day um actually no was it yesterday that's no, last night actually for the first time and like bitch these joints are like fucking crack bitch second time's a charm oh bitch i don't rip the bag they smell like they smell like jalapeno or satan you see all that melanation all that flavor dust These are the ones. When you first bite into it, you think you're about to get a spicy chip because it has a hint of like a jalapeno-ness to it. But then, further chewation, she get like barbecue savory-ish back here on the middle of the tongue. And then when you swallow, you get the sweet and like the the tanging is back here. That's good. Next. Mm. Gotta cleanse the palate. Lemonade. Because if it's not water, all I, literally all I drink is lemonade. So, cheers. Next, we have the Evil Eyes uh, Zap. Ew, why do they smell like that? Oh, they smell like... Oh, they smell like, like crabs or like Old Bay seasoning or something. Oh, she look dangerous. Oh, y'all is fancy. Tastes like ketchup. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Hold on. 
one. Ooh. Wait a minute. Y'all don't taste that? Y'all don't taste that? Y'all don't taste that? I'm getting a hint of like, damn out of C. Like, I'm getting very much Ariel. These taste, okay. So these are like real, first smell, smells like Old Bay. First taste, like a, a oddly plain chip that's not plain, but it had not salt. It's so weird. But then as you as further chewation continues, it tastes like ketchup. But then when you swallow, she give you crab meat. That is so weird. <sighs> Creamy dill pickle. Girl, I do I fucking hate a pickle. I can do relish. Eh. Every now and again. Palate cleanse. Cheers. Ew, that definitely smells like pickle juice. <clears throat> Looks like a sour cream and onion. Oh, that's sour cream and onion. That's good. Oh, that's good. I can do that. Put these on a knife. Put these on a nice Italian hoagie or ham and cheese. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Mmm. 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 No. 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 By first smell and first taste, they get very much sour cream and onion. But the more I ate them and you breathe and your throat air come up through your nose, you can taste and smell the pickle. No. All right, so let's get these organic Doritos um, a try. These smell like, I'm not sure if it's hers or his. Is, you know? <laughs> I don't know if it's hers or what, but it smells like them, that, bag, that black bag of that white cheddar popcorn. She smell like white cheddar popcorn. I mean, she look like a Cool Ranch Dorito, so that's a good sign. She's real cute, real triangle, real tortilla-like. Not bad. That's a cool range Dorito. Which I'm on the money. It get like it favors a cool ranch, but you can definitely taste the white cheddar. And she or get how many calories? I can eat the whole bag and it's only three hundred and Okay, last, we have the Ruffles Lime and Jalapeno by this um, very handsome man with a unibrow. Is, do y'all see the, the unibrow of it all? But the lips, sir. Woo! The jalapeno smell is strong. All right, let me get a good one. She got a little brown in her, well, I like it. Again, by first glance, she gets very much sour cream and onion. Like, I see what y'all tried to do, but the lime for me throws it off. The chip itself, with the just the jalapeno taste, is good as fuck. But it's like the lime is too... It's too limey. It's not terrible, but it's kind of bad. It's like the aftertaste is what's fucking me up. The chewation of the situation is cute. But the aftertaste of that lime is just not doing it for me. But it's not the worst chip I've had. So let's leave it as that. Bonus round! Like I said, I already dipped the knees. But for those of you who don't know about the jerky of the beef, this is the sweet and hot joint. Now...
Where's the hot? I taste the sweet. I taste the beef. And I taste the jerky. But where's the hot? It says sweet seasonings and zesty hot spices. I mean, she's good. I love a beef jerky. I don't care what flavor it is. Beef jerky is good beef jerky, okay? Okay, you guys. So, whew, now that that travesty is over, if I have to rank the chips from favorite to, like, least favorite or bestest, tastest, or whatever, voodoo all day. Give me the voodoo zaps. Give me... I was debating between these two, but give me the Dorito, the organic Dorito second place. And then give me, this is a close, this is a close, close second, but it's a third. The voodoo, uh, the evil eyes. Because like, I just feel like it just needed a little bit more of that crab or whatever that, whatever that down by the sea taste was. I just need a little more and you could have been, you could have been there, baby. Lime hot appeal fourth, And these fucking dill pickle chips. Got the fucking gas. Ooh, I was so hyped for y'all because y'all was giving me very much sour cream and onion. And then that throat layer coming up through my nose tasted like pickle juice and I was about to slap y'all. Don't you ever give me no pickle juice chips ever again in your day in your life, okay? As you can see, I am in a new environment. I am in a new room, new place, la di da di da That's a long story. Yes, this is a thing now. Get used to it for a little. And if you haven't already, go on ahead and wherever you get your podcasting streaming pleasure from, whether that's Apple Podcasts, Spotify, SoundCloud, whatever, and go stream the last episode of the podcast with me and Mike, The Sidewalk. Um, there hasn't been any posting on there in a while lately. There's a reasoning, but um, that podcast probably won't be happening right now or anymore, at least for a while. Uh, life happened, things happen, and... You just gotta move the fuck on and make do what you got. But also, in the coming, hopefully, this week or so, I will be uh, premiering another podcast. It's gonna be called The Podcast. <laughs> A dead ass. It'll be right up here. The Podcast. So be on the lookout for that. So with that being said, as always, be bold, be brave, be beautiful, be loving, be happy, be prosperous. But most importantly, be you because you were made to be put on this very fucking corona and festive virus earth for a reason. And don't ever let no one else tell you otherwise. That is on City Girls and that is on period. Bye, bitch.